share two articles that I've been reading with you. Uh, the first one I read in Innovation Excellence, and it's called uh, uh, What You Need is a Chief Culture Officer by Dr. Joram Solomon. Uh, and it's really, really interesting. Uh, he's actually writing uh, about why are uh, employees more creative and engaged in startups than in uh, larger, more mature companies. Uh, since I'm driving my own startup, I really, and have been working in larger companies like Ericsson, Eon, SMHI, uh, I really could uh, relate to this. Uh, I think it's because uh, the lack of innovation culture, exactly as he says in his article. Uh, in a startup, you need to give all your employees the trust. Uh, you need to let them be fast, uh, proactive, think agile, and really, really be uh, efficient and uh, really actually have the guts to, to trust each other. And I need to trust them and just to do, try to work out different solutions every day the whole day year round. So that's why I think it's, it's really, really demanding and it's really powerful working with culture. Uh, the other article that also relates to the same topic is uh, written by Blake Morgan and uh, it was published in Forbes and it's called uh, Chief Culture Officer and Chief Customer Officer, a winning combination. And it's a bit of the same topic, uh, but here she's also explaining the need of building a strong culture and, and how that is correlated to, to high customer experiences. And this is something I strongly believe in, and I think that is uh, some way related to the other article as well, because in a startup, you really need to be so close to your customers. You need to like be with them every day to really understand what do they want from your product, how can you be even better, how can you succeed, how can you stay as their supplier and everything. And as Blake Morgan says, that's even more maybe important in, in larger companies uh, and that you build that culture that all your employees really wants to be, often the first thing, very proud of their work, but also uh, have the trust in asking the customers, listening, listening to each other, picking up all insights and, and trends that are coming and serve customers and always trying to do their best. Uh, because then uh, you will succeed uh, and will have uh, uh, customers that really appreciate you and uh, you will score very high in customer experiences and that's not always easy. So um, I think uh, one of the most important parts today uh, with this new generation, with the demanding market and with um, services and products that are constantly changing uh, is to, to build a strong culture inside the organization with a lot of trust and with a lot of uh, really guts and uh, proudness of what you're doing and uh, a feeling of, uh, feeling of being a part of the customer's success as well. Just like when you're having your startup, that's a need to really wanting to grow with your customers.